Since this insane shooting by a woman toward police played out in downtown St. Louis Friday, the shock and awe has caught the community. Her release, perhaps the most. News 4 has been working all day to find out why that woman was released from police custody. And now within the last few minutes, News 4 has confirmed she has been charged. News 4's Russell Kinsaw is working on those new details for us tonight from where this all started right by the city museum. Russell? Yeah, her name is Jada Davis. She's 54. She's been charged with one count of discharging a firearm from a vehicle. It all happened here on 16th Street, right next to City Museum. Earlier in the day, I reached out to the St. Louis Police Department to ask them how could a woman who shot at police be released without being charged? I'm still waiting to hear back from them, but the circuit attorney's office said they were waiting on more information from the investigators and that investigations do sometimes take time. But for the people who live in all of these different apartments and these lofts around here who are fed up to hear with the level of crime downtown, hearing that a woman shot at police then was released for a time without being charged makes them feel like the crime around here is a low priority. To um, arrest the lady who, had, who shot at the police and then to turn around and just let her go back on the community, it almost like they don't care about what's going on down here. Mario Love has lived along Washington Avenue for three years. So ever since I've been here, it's nothing but crime. On Friday, police were called in after a suspicious person threatened to shoot up the Social Security office at Del Mar North 16th when police went to talk with a woman in a brown van which had racial slurs written on the outside, the van where she had been living. Police say she opened fire. <laughs> Sources confirm that the woman who was arrested and jailed at the St. Louis Justice Center downtown was released over the weekend without being charged. Erica Klotz says police made a mistake by releasing the woman. I think like the level of what she did commands a little bit more of urgency. Like they should have held her longer, you know, it should have been a little bit more severe than just letting her out back out on the street. Klotz lives and owns a business on Washington Avenue. We have a lot of break-ins here. I hear a lot of, you know, gunshots. And then this recent incident, it just seems like this is the forgotten area of town. She had heard about the woman who shot at police and how they shot back. No one was hurt, but others hadn't heard about what happened and are now questioning their move downtown. I've been living here for about three months. And I thought, it, that, I thought that this place was safe and my building was secure. And now that I've heard about this, I feel less safe. So Davis is also charged with one count of armed criminal action. We went on the City Justice Center's website. To, you could check to see if there's an inmate that's incarcerated there. We did a search for Jada Davis. Did not show that she was incarcerated there. Another online service that we use to check if somebody is in jail says she is. So we're still double checking to make sure that she's behind bars or will be arrested soon. Live downtown, Russell Kinsell, News 4. Russell, thank you.